there guys, how's it going? It's Cryostasis and we're on the Vortex server again today. And today we are working here around spawn as you can see. Uh, right up here I've got a little bit of a setup. Not much yet, but as you can see I've got my bed and a chest and an inner chest as well as a crafting table here for Cryos Caves coming soon. We're going to build it right here. I think it would be a really nice area. We are on with Bright Wanderer by the way. I think it'd be a really nice area though because this is the northern portal. If you are in the hub, we have those four portals, north, east, south, and west, and this is the northern one. And so if you come out, on your way to the bridge, you can't really help but see, bam, right here. So I kind of want to make this look somewhat natural, but I also want it to make, I kind of want it to look more like it would look in real life if there was a cave instead of Minecraft caves where all of a sudden there's, you know, something like this. This is completely untouched at the moment. Ooh. Hello. We're going to have to fix that. <laughs> Don't want creepers dropping in on us. But I'm thinking what I want is kind of an opening that would look, you know, kind of like a cave and then whenever we come up here we can go down into the actual shop, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make the actual shop uh, look kind of like a cave, or if I want to make it look kind of nice and stuff, but what Cryos Caves is like all about, we're going to be selling things for caving. You know, things like torches, and I don't think I'm going to sell food, because Mavoda has been selling it right over there at his uh, inn. That's where I got these potatoes, even. But I'll sell water buckets, lava buckets. Might go with ender pearls, but I'm not sure. Um, and you know, just random stuff like that. So we should be okay. And I've got some materials here, a lot of cobblestone that I can cook up, or maybe just leave it cobble. Oh, I should bring some uh, mossy cobble. Ooh. And I've also got a little bit of each ore except for emeralds. I don't have any emeralds on the server at all, but I've got a little bit of each ore here. I can't believe I have fewer lapis than I do diamond, but oh well. So I've got a little bit of each ore, I've got some glowstone that I can make into some lamps or just leave it as glowstone, and I'm pretty sure I had something else that I wanted to put in there, but I don't remember what it is for sure. But I think I'm going to go off camera just a little bit here and just kind of try to design a little bit of an entrance for this. Uh, you guys probably don't need to see that because I'm one of those people that take forever to design things and even then I'm not too fond of it. But if we come over here to this bridge, oop, lag. you can kind of see it's a little bit of an obstructive view right there. So sometime in this video, or maybe probably closer to the end of this video, actually, I might come over here because this really isn't, there's not much here. So I might come over here and just knock this whole hill out. And that way we can see straight through, and then we're going to have to come in and tear down some of these trees that people half burn down and get rid of the floating dirt and things like that. And that way we can just see right on through, and it would be more appealing to people to maybe build more things out here, which is a good thing. What is this? A creeper hole? Yep. Ooh, a cave. I actually... Ooh, somebody's explored it. I've actually uh, been meaning to... Holy... Hello. Been meaning to record this episode for a few days now. But yesterday I ended up going caving for like three hours. I just kind of was near my base and I was like, ah, I should just go finish up this cave because there's not much here. There's not much left. And so I went and the cave just didn't stop. Even after three hours of going through there, my inventory was beyond clogged and uh, things like that. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, there we go. And even though it was completely clogged and just horrible, I just kept caving. <laughs> I didn't have any room for anything, and I just ended up leaving a whole bunch of stuff laying around, and ugh. I need to go back into that cave at some point, but not today, because today we are working on our spawn thing. And somebody put this tunnel here. I'm not sure why, but it just kind of shows you how thick this is. It's not very thick at all, and... I'm not sure if it'll be this episode or next episode, but I might get some people together, and we've got three of these bad boys, so we can um, summon one of those and get ourselves a beacon, which will be quite awesome. 
Man, these things take forever to break. Oh, I thought I lost it for a second. I was like, <gasps> oh, I was about to freak out because these things take forever to get. You know what? Okay, I've got three skulls here. Let's see how long it took me to get that. Uh, mobs. Oh, it probably lumps them in with skeletons, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Dang it. Never mind. Anyway, I'm going to take some time off camera real quick and uh, kind of design a little bit of an area here. So I will be right back. All right. So this is what I've come up with. Uh, it's not the greatest thing I've ever made, I think. But I do think that I severely, not severely, but I very much like it. I basically tore out some of this roof. I and actually raised the roof by one completely and tore up a little bit of, you know, put in a few holes here and there, put some ores in there, some iron and some coal. This coal over here was natural and I threw some coal over there and, you know, just kind of give it, I don't know, a little bit of a cave feeling. And if we come over here, it actually looks really nice from the top of that thing. So let's get up there real quick and uh, take a look. You can't see the store but you can see the top of that and it looks really nice and that just kind of makes me happy with my choice of area Let's see if we can get up there don't overshoot it oh yeah much better awesome yeah see it looks like a really nice overhang area and I don't know to me it would draw my eye but that's because I am huge into caving like I love caving and then you come out of this portal over here over meow. And since this portal's facing this way, I've heard people want to change it to that direction, and that's fine if they do, but you'll come out and you can't really tell that it's there, but I'm going to dress it up later on to um, make it a little more obvious. But you can't really go to that bridge without passing by this, so I think I've got a good area here, especially for a caving shop. Yeah, here's the first room that I'm going to have for my shop here. Okay, so after absolutely tons of trial and error, I've been at this for like two days. I'm not even gonna lie, I've put so many hours into this. I finally come up with this. <laughs> oh, you can see the remnants of some of my older attempts, but there goes my phone. But uh, yeah, it. I don't know why it took me so long. And I finally came up with this. I'm going to lower the light level so it's not disgustingly bright. I'm going to try to make it, you know, kind of cave-like, you know, kind of dark, but just light enough. So trying to get a uh, block level or light level eight on everywhere in here. But uh, yeah, I really want to work on the walls now, I think. And I think I'm going to try doing at least part of them on camera. That way you guys can see a little bit of my process and hopefully it won't take me 16 years like it did on the floor and the room and things like that. And I think I'm going to tear up more of the ceiling and raise it even uh, over there and things. So I will uh, go gather some materials and we will get to work on at least part of these walls. And I'll probably do three of them off camera, but I'll definitely do one on camera. So I will be right back. Alrighty, I think I've gotten enough materials at least. So let's come on down here. And I think we're just going to work on this one here. So, hmm, what do we want to do? I want lava and water to be part of the theme. So... I'm thinking, let's uh, tear these out real fast. Get ourselves an infinite water source. Need another bit of water. And luckily we have some really close by, a nice little river. Boop, all right. Now let's get back over here. Whoops, all right. And yeah, I would think I want, Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can fix this. Yes! Haha! -ha, success! <laughs> How to fail building a simple infinite water source by cryo. So I'm thinking I want to tear these out here. And we're also going to tear this out, this out, and this out. Wait, is that the right one? No, this is the right one. Um, we can just fill that back in for now. And then we're going to need to pop these three out and I'm thinking maybe I'm not sure if I want water source here we need to get rid of these or lava source in the middle let's uh, just start with water in the middle 
and then lava on the sides. All right, and go away. Okay, good. Nothing's um, burning to a crisp yet. Just make sure that we don't screw something terribly up. Okay, I do like this, but this stone back here is going to have to go. But for now, I think we should come over here, and I've got a little bit of an idea of something that might be kind of neat. Let's grab some of these, and I really want some of these as well. But I need to get rid of something in my inventory, because it's obviously always full. There we go. We'll just do that. And I'm thinking we'll let's get these ones on our bar as well. All right. I just kind of want to make these random, and that's kind of what I ended up doing with the floor, is just um, kind of making it a bit random. Let's just do that, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like that. It almost seems too open. What if, hmm. What if, what if, what if we maybe took some wood? I'm not sure if wood that is completely enclosed on all four sides is going to burn or not. I don't think it will. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, well, oh well. So we do that, get rid of the water, and then do this. I like that better. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I think I do. Pretty sure I do. And I was testing earlier on my test world. I just went in there and popped a whole bunch of crafting, well, a crafting bench down right next to lava. So let's see if we can do this before everything burns to a crisp. Do we like that? No, I hate that with a passion that burns like a fire from hell. So what about this? Please don't burn this. I really like crafting tables. Eh. Yes, got it. I like that better. I like that better. So we do this. Whoops. I want some a little bit of functionality, but I think if I'm going to have that on the bottom there, we should have something on the tops as well. But I'm not sure. Hmm. What does the back of one of these look like? Is it... Okay, I was wondering if that white band wrapped all the way around, and it does. Dang it, man. I'm thinking I want chests stacked up along here, but I want something back behind them. Okay, I think I've got an idea. I think uh, having stone bricks back behind there would look fairly nice, but I need to put some of these ones in there. Hmm. Let's just pop one right here. No, 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 no! <sighs> Dang guy. Look at what you did, creeper. Dumb creeper. Always blowing stuff up. Anyways, <laughs> let's just pop a torch down there and we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's go ahead and do this. Man, dumb guy. wonder where he came from. Uh, oh, we need to get back farther. We need to get back behind all of these chests, but there's lava back here, so we need to pop these two out first. Get them taken care of. Let's put... Uh, yeah, let's just do that. And then we'll put like a cracked one up here. This one's the dangerous one. And we're just going to go with a regular. There we go. And then we'll just do something like that. Perfect. Let's take a look. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Looks pretty good. So we need to do pretty much the same thing back here. And then replicate all of this on all four sides of the room. Um, just kind of do these a little bit randomly. And then down here, we'll just pop another one of those. And we'll do something like that. Hmm. I like that. Let me go ahead and replicate this on all four sides. And I will be right back with you guys. I was originally going to, on each side of the room here, go and dig another staircase down into another room. But I think what I'm going to do instead is put a brewing stand room in one area where people can brew their own potions. I'm not going to sell potions, but I might sell like the ingredients for them and give them uh, brewing stands and things like that that they can use. And on the other side, I think I'm going to put an enchanting setup and that way, you know, they'll have everything they could possibly need right here in this one shop. And over here 
is where we're going to put our villager slave, I mean, uh, our worker that um, has volunteered his time and is not getting paid. And we'll put him over there so that people can pay. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a bucket of water here and start tearing some of this out. I think I'm just going to, oh yeah, I did have a bigger room originally, so that's why there's already torches and redstone and stuff back here. Man, I need to clean this place up. Let's go ahead and just get rid of all this. Hopefully I can pick that up. No? Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's get some smooth stone or something on our bar. We've got lots of redstone, so it doesn't really matter. Guess I didn't need to do those ones. There we go. I'm trying to decide on how big of a room I'm going to need. Let's take a step back. Hmm. Could probably even knock that part out. In fact, let's maybe... Hmm. Is this possible? Let's grab some of these and come over here. Can we do this? Does this work? No. Dang it, man. That would have been pretty neat. Let's um, do something like this. And... Hmm, how do we want to do this exactly? Let's go ahead and pop these ones out, actually. Give me those back. Try to kind of design our entrance way real fast. Um... Oh my god, my inventory. Let's uh, just inventory manage real fast. Just dump some of this crap off that we don't need right now. Let's grab some of these. Put them on our bar. Perfect. Now let's you know, just kind of dot these things around. Throw some of these down. Uh, maybe one right there. And then some of these. And then we can grab our stairs. All right. And do that. Does that seem a little claustrophobic? No, I think I like that, actually, that size of doorway. I think that's a good size. So I think that's what we're going to go with, actually. Let's just try some upside down stairs for now. Do this and this, this. Try to go maybe all around the room with them. And then I want to take brewing stands and pop them down in certain places. And then I also need water. So we need water around as well. How many brewing stands do we want? I'm thinking just use all nine, put three on each wall maybe. Uh, we need more stairs. Uh, let's see, let's grab some more. Grab about eight maybe. Whoops, give me those. I swear I click that. Okay. So we do this and go all around the room like so. And then we can put brewing stands down. Then in these corners, I'm thinking probably not water. I think I want water maybe in the ceiling. Yeah, we're totally going with water in the ceiling. We're going to have to get some ice for that. Or we could like put it there in the corner. Let's see what that would look like. Hmm kind of like that. I kind of do. Might still go with water in the ceiling just in case people don't really notice that this is here, but I think I'm going to leave that. I wonder. Let's grab some more water here. What would it look like if we just put like a full stream of it down there? Like all the way around. So let's go ahead and try that. I wonder if that would look kind of neat or if it would just look, well, retarded. Okay, let's grab more water. And then one more. Ooh. Hmm. I kind of like that, actually. And then we've got to figure out what we want to do for the floor in here. Thinking we want a block of water right there, but we're going to just have some ice right there. And we're simply going to melt it. So I'm trying to decide... Yeah, 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 let's do that. It's a great idea. Do we have any up here? Yes, fantastic. Okay, what we're going to do is pop one of these right there. We can probably get rid of this now. Can we? Uh, block level... Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. What about up here? Eight, and it should be eight. Yep. Okay, so this room... I like it. The only problem is I'm going to melt... No, 
Do we want to melt water there? Nah, maybe not. Let's... Oh, we don't have any ice or uh, glass down here. Let's fix this problem. Uh, there we go. Grab our glass. Oh, oh, we should use colored, shouldn't we? Blue? Blue might look cool. Where, wait, what did I do? <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Okay. Going to do this. And just, wait, is it like this? Or is it with lapis all around? Okay, there we go. Yeah. I knew what I was doing the whole time. I, I did not know what I was doing at all. <laughs> okay, let's pop that there. And does the light level stay the same? I don't think it should matter. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, I'm thinking for uh, the roof up here, well, obviously for all around, we're going to have like a nice little trim. But for the roof up here, let's knock these out. We definitely want something. I'm not sure what, but we definitely want something. Uh, let's just do that. Hmm. Would stairs look good up there, I wonder? Kind of like so? No. No, no, no. That stupid little black glitch um, that turns the stairs black or half slabs or whatever it is black. That's really obnoxious. Will it do it even over here? Oh, I know how to fix that, actually, I think. Let's see if that still fixes it, just um, putting a hole up there. Yes, it does. Fantastic. I think I'm going to go all the way around the um, bit up there with the stairs, and then on the inside, maybe slabs of some sort. Let's see. We need... Oh, look, some slabs. <laughs> Sweet. Um, crap. Do we have any smooth stone down here? No. Okay. Need to come back up here. Ooh. Get out of the way, guy. We need some smooth stone or some stone break stairs. There's some of that. Or do we maybe want to implement some of those? Hmm. Or maybe even some of these. I don't know. Sorry if you can hear that car going by. Not much I can do about it. So let's get down here. Use our crafting bench. Make... Uh, we'll just make all of that. Okay, and what else was I going to make? Some stairs. Oops. That's fine. Let's just make, like, that many or so. Okay, and I was... Okay, that should work. thought I was going to try something else, but I don't think it was. I don't remember. Okay, let's knock all of that out. I freaking hate holes. Okay, in the corners we need to... Hmm. Well, this corner definitely needs to be taken care of. Like so. Hmm. I'm thinking that we might take some iron blocks or something. And like pop one right there. And here and here, maybe? Would that look good? And then we just take these, and we can't turn them, unfortunately. Let's just do this for now. And then we take our slabs, which we might change the slab type. I'm thinking that would not be a bad idea. Oops, and my girlfriend's calling me. Be right back. Okay, so I got everything taken care of, and I went ahead and did this off camera. Just because I was in a Skype call with my girlfriend and a couple of other people. And I was just kind of doing this as I talked to them. So I went with this kind of a design. I'm not 100% sold on it, but I think it'll work for now. It's fairly expensive with the iron blocks and lapis and things like that. But I think it will work fairly well. As you can see, I filled up several water bottles. So the water definitely works. And right up here, I just kind of, I had a little bit of extra space. So I decided, why don't I put in some nether wart there? I'm not 100% sure if I want to put anything here. I don't think I do just so that people can see the nether wart and they can use it if they want as long as they replant it but you guys are probably thinking well if you're going to be selling potion type stuff that much nether wart's not really going to do a whole lot so I took care of that and I'm putting in a nether wart farm down here as well so lots of nether warts to be had this is just like a little uh, 
restocking area for me. It's nothing that the store itself really needs, so that's why I'm not putting like a trap door there. But yeah, I think it looks fairly nice. And now we need to work on this side. So, oh, I also uh, moved this wall out by one. You can see it's level with the chest now, just because I needed it uh, one farther out just to make the floor and everything work. Over here, uh, let's go ahead and just start tearing some of this up. Uh, how big is a crafting or uh, an enchanting setup, do you guys think? Um, it's, hmm, well, okay, we would have this here. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's five. So we need all five spaces. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and tear all this down. Grab this back up. Fantastic. So we're going to need this whole area here. And I think we're going to try to make it somewhat symmetrical with the other place because I believe it's five wide as well, yeah? One, two, three, four, five. It is fantastic. So we need some blocks. These, these, and where are the other ones? These. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to need... Uh, we need smooth stone for that, don't we? There we go. Probably going to need a little bit more of this. Okay. Uh, we also need the stairs. Man, I am just not prepared. There we are. Okay, let's grab all of our materials. Probably need that on the bar, actually, in case I mess up. Um, there we are. So how did we do this one? It's even with the chest, so let's go ahead and do that. And, okay, okay, I got this. Boop. Um, let's put one right here. And another one. Not there, but oops. Put that there. We can leave that one. It's fine. And then we'll put one like there. There, there, and can we get it up on top of that? Oops. Can we do this? Oh, well, that works. What am I standing on? Seriously, what am I standing on? Huh? How did I do that? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> okay, cool. And then we'll just fill in the spaces with this. I keep expecting silverfish to pop out of these. All right, and then we just take our stairs and boop and a boop. Is that right? That look about right? Yeah. Okay, and we'll have to worry about uh, the ceiling and filling in some of these gaps and things later on. I'll probably do most of that off camera. And how deep did I make this one? I want to make them somewhat symmetrical. One, two, three, four, five deep, basically. Okay, and right now it's, I believe that's aft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five and that will work and then we just need the um i don't know how we want to do this actually hmm i think one thing that we need to do is i'm probably going to go off camera here in a sec and decide what all i'm going to be selling and make sure that i have enough chests for everything just to make sure that you know i don't you know build everything and then i'm just like huh i only have half the storage space that i need I need to expand already. The business is going to expand. It's something that can't be helped, but that's just because it's going to be so popular. So let me go off camera real fast and decide what all I'm going to be selling and make sure that I have enough storage. So I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in one of my test worlds right now. A lot of crazy stuff is here, a lot of giant holes, a lot of insanity, <laughs> and just a lot of testing and dragon in portal things and stuff but this right here is what we're worried about today so in the shop cryos caves this is everything we're going to be selling i think and right there on that sign is the number of items that i'm going to be selling so let's take a look i've got eight different ores here there's you know all eight ores in the game and i'm not 100 percent sure that i'm going to do that one let's just uh do slash clear on that so I'm not 100% sure that I want to do the nether quartz ore stuff, but I figured, you know what, it's an ore and people technically do have to go kind of caving for it, so I might sell that. And basically everything here is stuff that could be useful in caving. So 
We've also got Mossy Cobblestone. This is the only block that I will be selling, the only actual block that I'm going to be selling, and that's only because you can find it uh, only in, um, well, one, jungle temples, like we have at this spawn, but you can all mainly only find this stuff um, in dungeons. And I guess you can, there's a biome that you can find it in as well, but those are very few and far between. I know where one is at, but meh. I will be selling crafting benches, furnaces, and, oops, <laughs> my bad, ender chests. Then I will also be selling anvils, just because they can be, you know, useful, just like everything else. And we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, torches, because they're super useful, and you have to have torches to go caving, usually. Uh, ladders, just because they can be useful now and then. And I know that I said that I was not going to be selling food, but I'm only going to be selling golden apples of both types. We'll get to this in a minute as well. Uh, and golden carrots, just because they're kind of difficult to get, and people might not have the resources to get them. And also, the two golden apples especially can be extremely useful if you're in a tight spot. Empty buckets, water buckets, and lava buckets, just because, well, when you're caving, any of those can be extremely helpful. Uh, enchanting setups, so an enchanting table as well as 15 bookcases. The enchanting table and the bookcases will be sold together as one big item, so there you go. I will also be selling books uh, for enchanting purposes. Then we've got Ender Pearls and Eyes of Ender. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to be selling Eyes of Ender, but if you need to, maybe you don't have a pickaxe that has Silk Touch, you can just put a whole bunch of Eyes of Ender in your uh, Ender chest, and whenever you uh, are getting ready to break it, just take an Eye of Ender out, break it, and then pop your crafting table down, and you can make a new Ender chest. So I will be selling those probably. Uh, compasses and clocks, those are kind of self-explanatory. Little bit of a brewing setup. I'm not going to be selling potions or most of the items that uh, you can use to make potions such as you know redstone and glowstone and things like that just because I don't think it's necessary but I'll be selling bottles uh, brewing stands I'll be selling cauldrons just because it's kind of a, a fun thing to sell and I figure eh, we can sell you know one fun thing and we'll also you know of course be selling nether wart and possibly gas tears as well then we've got all the uh, tools and weapons as well as armor and these will be made to order probably so somebody can come in and say okay I want a diamond pickaxe with efficiency 5 and breaking 3 on it and I want it named this I will do that and sell them that or you know it's everything's made to order and it doesn't have to be diamond it can be gold or you know leather armor or whatever they want so I will be selling all of that made to order uh, these shears are useful in uh, Mine shafts, so I'll be selling those. Those in case maybe you're going through the nether or you just want to light something on fire. So, yeah, and then sticks and coal to make torches. So that's going to be everything that we're going to be selling. And then I've got beacon here as well as nether stars. Let me explain on this. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to be selling beacons and nether stars simply because they're, one, a royal pain to get. And two, I don't know that they really go with a caving shop. But what I might offer is the ability to come into my shop and say, hey, Cryo, we need you to go take care of this wither for us and get us our uh, nether star. We released a wither on, you know, onto the world, and we need it taken care of. So they might be able to come in and do that. So that's what that's all about. So over here, we've got Cryo's Caves, 48 to 50 items. I counted, and I got 50. That includes the beacon and the nether star. But I forgot, I kind of neglected to um, realize that I was going to be selling this and the bookcases together. So that drops the item count by one. And the bottles, I could just sell, you know, one or the other. And we'll probably just sell maybe empty bottles, possibly by the stack. Actually, no, I'll sell them um, filled already. And then people can unfill them if they really want to. And they're going to be like dirt cheap, so yeah. So I think this is what we're going to go with. We're going to hop back over to the server and see what kind of storage we are looking at and see if we can fit it all there. All right, we're right back here on the server. As you can see, nobody's on right now.
But in here, we've got six chests. We had six items that we were planning on selling, so this will work out splendidly. But in here, we have three six chests in each corner times four, that's 24. So that's only about half the chests that we ha uh, have items for, but we're also going to be selling a lot of stuff in here, meaning the books and the enchanting setups and things like that. Speaking of which, where did my enchanting table go? Didn't I have one? Rut row. Looking through my inventory like it's, it's going to be there. Oh, right, right, I put it in here. I was trying to decide what all I'm going to be selling, so, uh, yeah. But some of the stuff, like the buckets, for instance, they can all go in, you know, one chest, and all the ores can go in one chest. This stuff can all, you know, basically go in one chest and things like that. So I think we're going to be pretty good on storage after we get this room here done. So what we're going to be uh, go ahead and do is come over here, creepy noise, go away, and let's decide we want that right there. Okay, so the main purpose of everything that I just did and, you know, talked about and things was I was planning on if I needed a lot more storage is having the enchanting setups in here, but having two of them, one in this corner and one in that corner. And basically you would come in kind of like at my base, you come in, step on a pressure plate, it opens up and you can enchant to your heart's content. But this way people can, you know, place torches all over the place if they need to with the, um, bookshelves and things to lower the level and that would work very nicely that's seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen I like it I like it a lot so that's what we're going to go with I think for that and then what can we do in this room to kind of spruce it up a bit okay there we go. So we're going to put an anvil there, an anvil there, after we spruce the room up. But I'm going to go off camera to do that. Probably going to make a little bit of a replica of that room. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll see in just a minute. And voila. Haha. -ha. Very nice, right? I hope you guys didn't like that at least. I worked for a little while on it. You guys saw how long I worked. It was a long time. But, um... I decided to kind of bring it down a little bit just to give myself a little more vertical space and I don't know I think I like it better this way I decided on some quartz because the white color is usually kind of intertwined with the uh, the thing that I'm not having right now knowledge it's kind of intertwined with knowledge when you think of you know knowledge and what color would represent that you would think white. And then I put some lapis up here because I thought, well, why don't I put some lapis into this build because in 1.8, lapis becomes extremely important for enchanting. And this will go up to level 30, as you can see, level 30. And so I'm really, really happy with this build, with this room at least. I added a couple more chests, put the anvils down, and I'm not going to lie, I'm running solo on iron. I've got four iron blocks and one iron ingot. So I've got 37 iron total. And then I just went with uh, the trap door with glowstone, of course, and it's kind of like that room over there, only I think I like this one better, to be completely honest. Let's go take a look at this one again. There's this one, and I really like it because of the iron, how bright the iron is, and the smooth stone slabs and things, but I don't know. I don't know, I'm really happy with both of them. And the reason that when you come down these stairs, this room looks kind of just bleh. And then these two rooms are really, really well done is because I thought I want to give it a cave-like feeling, which is kind of what this room is for. I'm going to knock out these torches and lower the light level uh, from, you know, ridiculous amounts like 12 down to hopefully 8 everywhere. And then on these rooms, I just kind of wanted it to, you know, bring out the, I don't know, beauty of it or something, I don't know. But I really wanted to incorporate some really nice looking stuff as well as some kind of drab and cave-like, you know, structures. So I'm really happy with the way this has turned out so far. The last thing that we really need to do before we, you know, actually start with the, um, uh, what is it called? The filling of chests. We need a front desk right there. 
But I think we're going to have to do that in another episode because in this, well, for this video, one, it's been, it's already two days late. It's going to be at least three days late by the time you guys get it. I try to get these out on Mondays, but ah, uh, past couple of weeks hasn't worked out. Last week it was Tuesday. This week it's going to be at least Thursday. So really sorry about that. But I want to put out quality stuff, but I'm pretty sure this video is kind of dragging on. I try not to go over 30 minutes. This one's probably going to be over 40, so... Yeah, sorry about that, but I'm really happy with what we've come up with. We'll have to work on the rest of it in another video. Maybe next one? Probably not, though. So we will see, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please, please feel free to subscribe, and that way you can see whenever I upload. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next time. My name is Cryo on the Vortex server. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.